hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And this is ancestor messages. So hopefully this isn't going to be too long because I have stuff I have to do. And um, all the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay. So what do the ancestors want to say to us at this time? Whoever needs to hear whatever, whatever ancestors want to come through and talk. Only positive, high vibrational ancestors, please. Ancestors that want our highest good. Um, spirit is reminding me of that to say that. Only ancestors that have our highest good at hand, at heart. <laughs> hand and heart, I don't know. Somebody here could be having itchy hands or feeling something in their hand. Death. The eternal cycle begins here. So something could be ending in your life. <clears throat> I had a dream last night where someone was apologizing to me and telling me that they regret what they have done. They're sorry. Um, <laughs> that could be a message for some of you. Like some of you, the spirit wanted me to share that. So... Werewolf could be um, could be werewolf could be um, significant here. Somebody needs to explore their wild within, or they could be. There's unnecessary fear about someone being who they are. Maybe their wildness scares them. Spirit, your ancestors are telling you. You're not going to have any regrets about doing something. This is the light after the darkness. You've been living in the dark. This is why this has to end so that you can go to the light. Told you. There's the light. <laughs> I know what I'm channeling. 222 two, two on the timer. I, I don't know why I'm always called. I think there's always like someone who like doesn't believe me or something. I don't. I sense their presence. There's someone here who cross watches my readings or there's someone here who's watching my readings who are like, is she just saying that shit? No. <laughs> and I think that's why Spirit does that a lot. Like, gives me the messages before the cards so that someone that's watching these readings can understand that this is actually what I'm channeling. That's how you know you're channeling. That's how you know you're connected to your intuition. Okay? There's an intuitive exercise that I do with my tarot class. Um, I have you connect to your intuition and I say, you know, with the cards and I say, what do you think is going to come out on the cards? Whatever first comes to you like this, whatever comes to you like that is your intuition. The, the thinking after that is your ego. That's how you know the difference between your intuition and your ego. When it comes to you like this, that's your intuition. When you start to second guess and you're like, oh, maybe not, that's ego. Okay. Because your intuition is innate. It's instant. It's instantaneous because your higher self knows your destiny in this lifetime. Okay? <coughs> I don't know. There's something here. <coughs> Someone here has been in the dark for a long time. They want you to know that they're there with you, helping you. Or they're with you in the dark. I'm seeing someone in my mind's eye right now. A man crying. Could be crying in the bathroom. In a closet. Um, in a dark area. They're crying. Someone's crying. I, I'm seeing someone crying in a truck. Yep. This could be someone that does scrying. Someone could practice scrying to help with their intuition, or you can practice scrying to help with your intuition. If you don't know what scrying is, look it up. Okay. Someone here also needs to get some crystals, some clear crystals, white crystals, something like that, because that's I 
I don't know, someone could be using bones. Um, bones is significant. Maybe someone does voodoo. Maybe that's their religion. Their spiritual practices. <clears throat> don't judge others. Somebody's judging someone. Don't. Don't judge others for their spiritual practices or their religious practices. I connect with people from all walks of the life. Um, all walks of the life. Somebody here is foreign. Um, I just heard Jamaica. Someone could be of Jamaican descent. Um, I'm channeling a lot of people. Um, what was I going to say? Voodoo is not bad. <laughs> My kid's grandmother practiced voodoo. She was a very, a very godly woman, you know, a very high vibrational woman. Okay, she she was from Panama. She lived in Panama. Um, you don't judge others. That's not your job. That's not your position. Okay. I hate it when I see people judging others and saying like, well, if you don't do this, if you're not this, then you're going to hell. It's like, how do you know? Did God ordain you to judge others? Nobody is ordained to judge anyone in this lifetime. I don't care who you are. I don't know. Someone needs to hear that. Like, no one can judge you. I don't care if you're a priest. You can't judge anyone. You're not God. <laughs> That's something else that someone needs to understand. You're not God. You may be a God, maybe a reincarnation of something, but you are not God. You are not the most high creator. You have the Holy Spirit within you, but you are not God. Oh, that reminds me of something else. <laughs> Spirit is saying, so I started reading the book of Genesis, as you guys know, which while I was reading it, <laughs> I was channeling. Um, and it led me to the book of Enoch. Okay, in which I have been told to read the book of Enoch for two years now and I I did here and there but I, I started reading the book of Enoch yesterday and I was like okay crazy okay <laughs> I'm just telling you about but use discernment with anything use discernment okay because you don't know how many things something has been changed you don't know how you don't know um if it is something that is valid okay i mean think about our government now okay just you have to use discernment you have to use discernment and use your intuition when reading anything critical thinking is a must in this world you are not a sheep okay you are not a mindless robot you are a spiritual being with a mind of your own with an internal compass that is your light that is your connection to the divine that nobody can take from you. You can shut it off, but that is your free will. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but I don't know. That's a bunch of preaching for somebody, <laughs> for some of you. Okay. Yeah, this is, um, someone needed to know this. Someone needed to know this. I have been also channeling a five-point star a lot, okay? Nothing wrong with a five-point star, okay? Stop. Um, stop thinking in black and white like that's negative. If that's positive, then that's a negative. That's not true, okay? A lot of the holidays that we celebrate now were once pagan holidays that's why you see a lot of christians will not celebrate certain holidays it's because they know they have done their research that those were pagan holidays this is why i don't judge anybody because i celebrate all kinds of stuff <laughs> i don't even know what you would call me okay i believe in jesus i pray to god i also pray to deities and i connect with them too and i'm just like you know i don't know what you would call me Anything that is high vibrational, I connect with it. Okay? I do different things. I do different practices. I light candles on the full moon. I do, I do different healing things. Um, I'm about to, I'm going to the store today to mix together some herbs with water for warding off 
uh, negative energies in my home. I mean, I have like, I do all kinds of like, I mix things together and use different practices. I meditate. I mean, I don't know. I'm a wild one, I guess. <laughs> I don't stick to one thing because I don't feel like you have to. You can do whatever you want. Like who says you can't practice some Buddhist beliefs alongside some Christian beliefs and do some intentions to light candles like who says you can't do that okay catholicism does it in catholicism we have altars i don't know if you guys know that or not we have altars um and we have statues on altars like mary or jesus and we like candles which is intention that's what witches do which is divine feminines okay the priest sages the church okay that little thing that he's carrying when you see in the movies if you're not catholic and he's like swinging it around in a ball and then there's smoke coming from it that's sage he uses oil to anoint mm -hmm. i mean it's synergy we all believe the same we're just using different practices so there's nothing wrong with with taking a little from everybody and throwing it together in a pot <laughs> maybe that's the message <laughs> It's okay to throw different things as long as it's synergy and healing. That's the point. As long as it's healing, it doesn't have to look a certain way. It doesn't have to be a certain thing or have a certain name or a label. You can just do something, right? And people who are small-minded are not going to understand you. People who are small-minded are not going to understand you, and that's okay. Those aren't your people. I say that all the time. People who don't understand you or look at you like you're crazy and laugh at you, those are not your fucking people. Okay? Stay far away from people like that. Okay? It's all about love. It's the love. You're a witch. You have infinite possibilities. And you are protected always. Have you ever wondered why, like, are you the type of person where you always end up coming out on top or things always end up falling in place? Yeah, you might have a tower, your ship might burn down. Um, not literally, but <laughs> figuratively. Things might happen, but you always end up pulling through somehow, like a miracle always. Like something that is inexplainable, inexplicable, unexplainable. You always pull through right at the last minute. That's the most high God. That's your creator. That's because you're anointed. You're looked after. You're protected. Okay? You have infinite possibilities. That's what comes with being a spiritual person on a spiritual journey. You're always going to pull through no matter what. Even if it's right in the nick of time. Do we have hard lives and hard roads? Yes. Do we wish sometimes that we were just a sleeper? That we were like them? Sometimes we do wish we were like them. I mean, I do. I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes I go to the park with my kids or <laughs> I go like, it's mainly at the park. And you see someone having like a birthday party and you overhear conversations and you can just tell that they're just not awake and they're just completely clueless to like the spiritual realm I often think sometimes it must be nice to be them it must be nice to not have to deal in the spiritual world to not have to know things to just be able to exist mindlessly yeah I do it's weird because I tell people this sometimes all the time like my family who you know understands me the ones that do or my friends and they're like I only had one person that says I understand what you're saying who's a spiritual person everyone else is like no I don't want to be like them and I'm like shit I do <laughs> think about it sometimes and I'm like Damn, it must be. I mean, 
but everybody has a different perspective, right? Everybody thinks differently. Like one of the people that I talked to, she was like, she was like, you don't want to be like them because they don't know what the hell is going on. Like they don't have the answers that we have, which is true. So I was like, yeah, but that's the part of life, right? Like the unknown, that's, that's the, that's the wonders of life is not knowing. And now that we know, it's like, but I don't want to (laughs) know, right? It's like eating the apple and gaining the knowledge and saying, fuck, what did I do? But it was something, but it was my destiny. It, it was. And it, it is all of our destinies to have done that. Okay? Be, and I say that it's all of our destinies and it's not something that we had done. And I say that because whether it's good or bad, right? Whatever you believe. Because you know I've been reading the book of Genesis and everything. Whatever you believe. Do I think it's bad? No, I don't. Intuitively, when I channel, when I read that, I was like, it's not negative, but they're portraying it to be negative. Probably to prevent you from gaining the knowledge, okay? From remembering who you are, okay? Because power lies when you remember who you are, okay? So, um, where I was getting at with this is that that's your, the reason why I know that it's your destiny is because it wasn't something that was forced, okay? At least for me. So, When I went through my kundalini awakening, I didn't try. I didn't even know what that was at the time that it had happened to me, okay? I was still learning. Remember, when I started my spiritual journey, I had no knowledge of the occult. I had no knowledge of anything other than Catholicism and a little bit about Freemasonry. That was it. Okay, I didn't know anything else. I didn't know anything about spells. I didn't know anything. I knew I was always drawn to, to you know, spells and stuff and candles and witchy things. Um, but I never knew why. That was my soul. Okay. And I never knew why. Okay. So what occurred, what caused my kundalini awakening was my healing. That's it. Me doing shadow work, me facing the mirror, me going through evolution. And I did it myself with the help of therapists here and there. But you guys know I I, I go through therapists. I don't, I don't get along with most therapists. <laughs> so, um, so it happened naturally right? So you cannot convince me that what happened to me naturally, that my destiny is evil or negative or not of God, because I know the work that I do, right? Am I out here trying to harm you? No. So that is why critical thinking is a must when you are a spiritualist, when you are a healer, when you are a witch, a divine feminine, an anointed, Okay, you have to understand that you are not innately evil. (laughs) Okay, you know what's in your heart. Okay, and you know what's not in your heart. Now, are there people that are just born evil? Yeah. Uh, Example, Richard Ramirez. I don't know if you guys know that, know who that is. That person is a vile energy. Okay, I don't even like to say his name, but there it is. So, some people are born shitty. Okay. Or maybe he became shitty. I don't know. But he was a negative energy. Okay. Just say it like that. So, yes. That is some people's destiny in this world to be a not a good person. Okay. They're the ops. My my son calls them the dark workers. <laughs> okay. Dark workers. Okay. They work for the dark. However, what do I always teach you guys about dark workers? Or people who are, who live in the shadows, who are low vibrational who live in ego, who completely cut off their intuition. What do I always tell you about those people? I always say that the Most High God uses them for your evolution. Because God does. 
the Most High God does use the dark for your evolution, okay? Because what happens is, on an energetic level, whenever you have a core wound that you're not seeing, a blind spot, if you will, that you're not seeing, those people will come in and poke it. I told this to somebody this morning. They will come in and poke it, and you'll be like, oh, damn, what is this that this person is triggering in me? It's a wound that needs healing. So they have the ability to trigger your healing to trigger you to cause conflict and chaos but when you stand in your strength you use it to heal yourself and then you let them go that's their purpose that's the purpose now truly evil does not have a purpose true evil does not have a purpose are those people truly evil no I don't think they're truly evil. The person that I told you and the what I said, you know, that is a truly evil person. Okay? That's a truly evil person. That's a truly vile energy. These dark worker people who are living in their ego, who, you know, are just assholes and they use people, they're not truly evil. Okay? They're just damaged and they refuse to go towards the light. That's all. Okay? True evil is disgusting. It's vile. Okay. Those are not, those energy, that energy there is, cannot be helped. Does not help at all. It destroys. It destroys. Its sole purpose is to destroy. And I think that this has been lost. This information that I'm telling you, this message that I'm giving you has been misconstrued, has been interpreted differently because people cannot feel energy, because people are not as connected as they think, or I don't know, it's something. They're not healing, I don't know, it's something like that, okay? Whatever the confusion is, okay? They're sleepers and they're just jumping on the spiritual train and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. That happens a lot in the community that you see, okay? This is what I'm talking about. This is, this is a message from your ancestors. I think there could be a lot of people that may have questioned like, am I doing the right thing? Am I evil? child if you're looking at my readings you're not evil <laughs> I'm just telling you that okay so understand this okay understand this understand this yeah this is this is somebody's shadow here so what I I was called to channel that because this is someone's shadow this is a negative belief system that someone believes about themselves. And I knew that's exactly what it was. And that's why I was channeling that. Okay. You have to face the mirror and look at yourself and understand who you are. Someone doesn't know who they are. And they may have had a negative perception about themselves. Okay. That is definitely a message for somebody. Maybe you are uh, someone who is obsessive and possessive and controlling. Because that's what Pluto, that's what Hades is, right? That energy is obsessive and possessive and controlling. That doesn't make you truly evil, per dude. I, I feel like I'm talking to a, a guy. That doesn't make you evil. Okay, it doesn't. It just means that you got some wounding here that you need to fix, that you need to not fix, but heal, okay? You need to face your mirror, okay? Now, do you have the potential to damage people? Yes, but are you truly evil? No. You're a human with faults. I don't know, that's a message to somebody here. Yeah. Maybe you're questioning this because you're a twin 
and maybe you've always looked at yourself as evil or something like that and you're wondering why you're a twin why was i given this love why am i bound to someone for eternity who has the capacity to really love me when i'm a piece of shit it's because you're not evil You're a damn human with faults. You need to understand who you are. I've known some people that have done some fucked up shit, like family members, right? That have done some things that they shouldn't have done that caused a lot of pain to others, okay? They did a lot of prison time for it. Does it make them evil? No. Because they had goodness. They had a good heart. It was just the trauma, the wounding made them do things that they wouldn't have done had the trauma had not been there to begin with. I don't know. This is a message to somebody here. Does it make it right? No. But it's not an, an excuse, it's a, it's a reason, okay? It's a reason, and I, I always say that. It's not an excuse, it's a reason, because it is. People don't just do things to do them, right? Unless they're a sadist. Now, are there people walking around that are sadist, emotionally, mentally sadist? Yes. Are they truly evil? Uh, no, I still wouldn't even think, I, I still wouldn't even categorize them as truly evil unless they have done some truly evil acts, okay? Because it's easy for us to disconnect from truly evil things, right? Because we don't experience it firsthand. <clears throat> but when you really dive into things really dive into the psyche of someone or the energy of someone who has done true evil and you people don't really think about the mindset the emotional the energy of the person that the person has to encompass in order to do things that is what is truly evil okay like hurting children or hurting animals you're hurting innocence right or being a r rah, 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 you know i can't say that um truly evil acts right against humanity against innocence the energy that someone has to encompass in order to do these horrific heinous acts is true evil i don't care fight me that's true it's the truth but when people have yeah control they do it for control okay I forgot what I was going to say. Um, but most of the time people have ha have love in their heart. Maybe they fuck up and make wrong decisions. Maybe they become womanizers. Maybe they, you know, or become cheaters. Those people aren't, aren't freaking evil. Okay? They're not. They're just shitty people. <laughs> right? And if you're a cheater, you're in a third party. I'm not saying you're a shitty person. I'm talking about the ones who, you know, continuously like hurt people serial cheaters like they don't give a shit about what they do like that's who i'm talking about okay um those people are not evil okay they're not they're that's not evil it's someone who's got issues i don't know okay i'm done preaching about that i don't know who needed to hear that but somebody did i gotta go though <laughs> Yeah, somebody's ancestor wanted to tell you this. If you're someone who sees cardinals a lot, this is messages for you. Or you've lost someone recently, this was your message. Um, you could be seeing a black cat, or you could own a black cat. This message is for you, okay? They wanted you to know this about yourself. Rejoice, have fun, 
okay? Somebody's asking me, like, what does true evil feel like? So, I have only been around a few people who... <sighs> energetically, like, I don't even know them, right? But energetically, I was like, I need to stay away from that person. It's not anyone that I knew or that knew my family or anything like that, but it was, as an adult, it was like a stranger. And I had an awful feeling. And that's only ever happened a few times with people and it's just a feeling like you can't be around them like there's something disturbed in their soul like that's what true evil feels like you don't even want to be around them it is a completely repellent feeling okay Happiness is in your heart and home, okay? You need to forgive someone here. Forgiveness is important at this time for some of you. Spider, you could be seeing spiders or eagles or hawks or something like that. That is also significant. This symbol could be significant. I watched a movie yesterday, um, 3113. Here it goes with the flipping numbers. I don't even know what that means. If someone wants to tell me, you can email me or message me on my Etsy shop. I keep seeing numbers that are in reverse, like 3113 or 2112. I'm still seeing those numbers like that, and I don't know what that means. Um, I saw this symbol in a movie. This is the symbol of enlightenment. It's the journey towards go, to go within to find who you truly are. That's what this symbol means, okay? Um, I watched a movie called... It's on Hulu. It's called, uh, I don't know what it's called. I forgot the name of it. It's new. It just came out. It's about a woman. It's a thriller. It's about a woman who was living in the forest. I can't really tell you anything else, but it's a thriller and it has a plot twist. Um, and what's crazy about this is this guy has the horned God tattooed on him. Her father, the horned God is the masculine counterpart to the triple goddess. Okay. That's the divine feminine. The triple goddess is a divine feminine symbol. That's what I have tattooed on my neck. The horn god tattoo is the male counterpart. And it represents the wild man. The man who lives off grid. The man who lives in the woods. He's a very wild man at heart. That's the counterpart of the divine feminine because the divine feminine is the wild woman she's the wild woman she's the one that cannot be tamed that's why they are equals <laughs> someone may not have realized this or may not have looked at it from that perspective the female divine feminine is the wild woman and the male divine masculine is the wild man and they are equals no one is beneath the other one and yes in the bible it says that eve was created from the rib of man and part of her punishment according to genesis was she had to obey her husband because she supposedly ate from the tree of knowledge and gave it to him. A reoccurring thing in the theme in the Bible that I notice is that most of the wrongdoings that were done was always by a woman. That is something that I do not believe. <laughs> they blame everything on a woman. Women did everything. We fucked it all up. Ah, I find that hard to believe. And one of the things in the book of Genesis, it says that as a punishment for what she had done, she was to remain um, submissive to Adam as a punishment. Yep, you heard that right. This is the King James Version of the book of Genesis. She, as a punishment, she was to be submissive to Adam. First of all, 
I don't think you're not supposed to eat from the tree. I don't believe that shit not one bit. I believe that was put in there to oppress you, to prevent you from gaining knowledge. Because what are we always taught? Knowledge is power. If you notice, everything in the world is a contradiction of itself. Knowledge is power, but too much knowledge is evil. Knowledge is power, but don't seek it because it's evil. What? Make it make sense. A lot of the things in the Bible are contradictions. You expect me to believe that the Most High God is contradiction, has, has contradictions? That's invalid. That is incorrect. That is wrong. The Most High God does not have contradictions. The Most High God does not go back on his word or her word or whatever because the Most High God is perfect. It is our creator. You mean you want me to believe that there's contradictions? Get the fuck out of here. This is when your critical thinking ability and your connection to your intuition is imperative. Very important, especially in the times that we live in now. Use your discernment and your intuition. I don't care how crazy it seems or who doesn't believe you or what. It doesn't matter. What matters is your inner knowing. Because I've done a lot of past life readings for you guys. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of you were around during biblical times. So a lot of you have inner knowledge. You know already what happened. This is why you don't conform to biblical perspectives. This is why you pick and choose. I'm the same way. It's because we know. And you can't fool us. You can't enslave us with this bullshit that you're trying to do. This is why I was called to read the book. Okay. What is the most... The most damaging thing you can do to someone? To keep them conformed, to keep them a slave to your belief, is to put them in a place of fear... And to point at them and say, you're the bad guy. Then, if they believe it, if they're mind controlled and brainwashed and indoctrinated enough to believe it, they will say, oh shit, I am bad. And they will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. They will become exactly what they were told. This is why when you're a parent, it's important that you uplift your children, you allow them to be autonomous. You allow them to form their own personality and you don't try to conform them or make them conform. You give them morals and integrity and, and ethics and a guide, but you allow them to flourish into their own little beings, into a human, okay? Because you don't want to raise mind-controlled robots. You want them to have critical thinking. You want them to think for themselves with guidance, of course, but this is important because when they get out into the real world, if they're mind controlled robots, they're just going to listen and do whatever somebody tells them to do, which is not good. Everybody needs to exercise critical thinking. Okay. My daughter, who's eight years old, <laughs> I was telling her something and she said, She said, oh, you mean reverse psychology? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I do. How the hell did you know what that means? So it's important <laughs> to teach your children all the knowledge that you could potentially teach them at a young age so that they are, they know, they understand, they can see. And it helps if they're gifted and they can see and they are seers. It's important to help them help them exercise their intuition guide them on how to listen to their gut if you have boys I always told my boys listen to your gut what does your gut tell you I do that all the time I, with my girls I say listen to your intuition what's the voice telling you 
because that is going to save their life. That could potentially save their life, okay? It's going to help them to reach their destiny sooner, okay? I don't know. Somebody needs to hear this. I'm done preaching. <laughs> I'm done preaching. Let's see what Spirit wants to say. <clears throat> Embrace the in-between. And the in-between is walking in between two worlds. The spiritual world and the physical world. Watch your words. Some of you need to be watching what you're saying. Because what you're saying is not good or you're manifesting lack or something like that. Okay? Watch your words. Orange could be significant or like a peachy color. I don't know time to heal so some of you need to go back in do some more shadow work and heal something snake could be significant 33 freedom is yours so some of you are free you're free from something maybe you don't think you are i don't know but you're free you were born free what are they free of What are they free of? What are they free from or free of? The past. You're free. You're done. So whoever I'm talking to, you're done with your past. You're free from your south node. You're free from your past karma. It's over. Your suffering is over. You could be a divine feminine that I'm talking to. Your past is done. It's over. You could be tied to a water sign or you could be a water sign feminine. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? Yeah. You may be confused about where you're headed or why this happened, but this is it. Yeah, you may feel like maybe this was deception of some sort or something like that. Or maybe you're going to be getting clarity about some kind of deception. Someone was trying to maybe not make you not love yourself. Yeah, this person lived in their ego. You're headed into your north node, though. You're headed into your... Yeah, you've ended some kind of karmic contract. It's over. You may be connecting with people who are very cold and detached. Those days are over. You're expressing your truth. You're standing in your truth and your authenticity. And you're trusting in the divine to move you forward here. Okay? Yeah. If you have any regrets or you're feeling regretful... Do your shadow work. There should be nothing that you should regret here. You made a decision to love yourself, and that's what you're doing. Your ancestors are here saying we are here. That's today's message, ancestor messages. Okay? If you're in regret, ask yourself why. Do you feel like you deserve the abuse, the punishment, the ill treatment that these people gave you, and why? Because you don't love yourself enough? You never deserve this. Nobody deserves abuse. Nobody. Yeah, this is someone who is in separation from someone. You could be dreaming about this person. This is your rebirth. You've made a decision and it's for your highest good. Yep. You chose yourself. You have you're going into union if not you're going into union with yourself from closing out this cycle. You've integrated your shadow with your higher self. That's the whole point. You've learned to integrate your shadow. You've learned to love even the dark sides of you. That makes sense as to why I was channeling all of that, that I was channeling. Someone may have viewed themselves as evil, and you're not. It's just your shadow. Yep. You could have been very guarded emotionally. 
Maybe people have told you that you're cold and detached. Maybe you were at times. Hell, who hasn't been cold and detached and ruthless at times? I tell you guys all the time, I've been ruthless before. <laughs> and I have. I don't, I don't shy away from telling you my truth. I've been ruthless. I've done some shit I'm not proud of. We all have. We're not perfect, okay? And when you have a high IQ and you're intelligent um, and you're pretty, okay, or you know how to be manipulative, okay, that's a that's a, a great concoction to be a toxic person, okay? So <laughs> once I, I that's why I tell you guys I was acting very karmic because I was. I lived very karmically for years. Because I blame the world. I lived in victim mentality, victim consciousness. And I was like, you know what? F the world. This world is shit. And then I realized I was wounded. And I just had to face my mirror. And I did. Okay? But you guys ask me. I have conversations with people all the time. You know, I, I have some... Most of you guys, I adore and love you because even if you don't tell the truth or open up to other people, you tell me the truth. And I respect you for that. Um, and I feel grateful and I don't know, you would say grateful and um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Like, it makes me feel good that, wow, they chose me to open up to. You know what I mean? Um, and it, it it helps me to help you. But I really feel like, wow, you know, a lot of you are, are honest with me about who you are. And it takes courage and, and, you know, to do that, to be authentic. And I connect with each one of you on a soul level. And none of you are evil, okay? None of you are evil. Maybe some of you got some toxicity, but you're working through it and you're trying. And that's the point. Okay. That's the point. Okay. It's because you don't know any better. And using tools to rewire your brain, rewiring your brain after you've been indoctrinated and traumatized is very difficult. Okay. So I love all of you. And I have never connected, ever connected with anybody who was truly evil on tarot. I wanted all of you to know that. I have never felt that energy ever. Hell, I don't even think I felt that energy connecting with anyone in general, except for two people. And I didn't really know them. I just kind of was in their vicinity at the checkout or something like that. And it was terrible. Okay. But that's the truth. It's because we're humans and we fucked up <laughs> at some point in our lives. That's it. Okay? So don't beat yourself up. Maybe the forgiveness is learning to forgive yourself. As well as the people who fucked your mind up and created the trauma and attached your brain, you know, messed your brain up to the point where now you have to rewire it forgive them okay because i'm pretty sure that they were traumatized as well because it's a generational trauma okay doesn't make it right but it's a reason okay it's the why 